can you get declined for a loan after you are pre-approved? And as Billy Idol once said, hell yeah. Can you get declined after you're pre-approved? Hell yeah, you can, you better believe it. Don't think that just because you were given a pre-approval, it means you are getting a loan. You are not. Now, there are different levels of pre-approvals. What do I mean by that? Simple, there's different levels of brain surgeons, there's different levels of hospitals, there's different levels of school teachers, there's different levels of everybody. So even at the same bank, I don't care if you go to Rocket Mortgage, which is the largest mortgage lender in the country, go to Rocket Mortgage, go to Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase Bank, or wherever you wanna go. I'm gonna make this up. Rocket Mortgage has 10,000 loan officers. I don't know how many loan officers they have, I'll just say they have a hell of a lot, okay? Uh, 10,000 loan officers there, do you think all 10,000 do, do the exact same job as the other one? Do you think every single one of them springs out of bed every day and says, I love what I do, I can't wait to do this? No, I got news for you. Some of them are looking for other jobs. And while they're looking for other jobs, you're calling them for a pre-approval on your home. And suddenly, something that doesn't seem like a big deal to you is a big deal, but because they were on Indeed and Monster.com searching for a new line of work to get into, they missed something. They gave you the pre-approval, but they missed the fact that you pay child support. Suddenly, that loan gets in front of an underwriter. Okay, now, who is an underwriter? Well, you've gotta to subscribe to my YouTube page to watch my other videos, one of them of which is called what is an underwriter, okay? If you ever watched the Munsters, they used to have their dragon underneath the steps and the steps would open and the dragon would blow the fire out of the steps and stuff like that. And that's like an underwriter. No, I'm just joking with you. All the underwriters watching, like, I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. Keep calm. Keep calm, everybody, okay? So ultimately, when that loan gets in front of an underwriter, the underwriter sees the child support. They factor the child support against you. That screws up your debt ratio. The whole thing blows up and you're sitting here saying, I was pre-approved. Everything was fine, I found a house, I did my inspection, I got the appraisal, I was going along just fine, I was 10 days away from closing, and the next thing I know, everything gets declined and blows up in my face. Why is that? Simple, a pre-approval is not an approval. Just because you're pre-approved to buy a home doesn't mean you're getting a loan. Now, how can you ensure that the pre-approval you're given is as solid as possible? I'll give you a few ways you do it. One way is give too much information. Yes, and by the way, if you're a loan officer and you're watching this, and you're like, oh, they shouldn't give too much information, then you suck, get out of the industry. Go, go join the guy who's looking for another job too, okay? The problem in this industry, my industry, and I don't like disparaging it often, but I'll disparage it right now. It's very unsophisticated, okay? It's not that hard to get into. The point of entry is very low. The standard to get the license is very low, and there's really no formal training that consistently trains and teaches the loan officers how to analyze a borrower. That sucks. You know who it sucks really bad for? You, the person watching this video right now. It's very likely that if you were declined later, there's a high probability the reason you were declined down the road, that could have been caught up front. Now mind you, this goes all the way back to the whole point of the video. Just because you're pre-approved, still, be very scared, okay? Be on the edge of your seat. Every time the loan officer asks you for something, send it to them. Don't ask them the question of, I've already sent this, why am I sending it again? You know why? Because I'm asking you again, how's that sound? You want the loan, give me the damn document. Every time you send something to the loan officer, put it in a folder, save it on your computer, put it somewhere, keep it. Expect they might ask for it again. There might be something on there that brings up more questions. So besides just turning everything over and giving too much information, which is good, okay? And I'll argue that against any loan officer out there. Hush, I don't wanna know certain things. Well, then you're a fool then. You're, you're the person blowing them out there, screwing up all the loans, and this is the stuff that happens that tarnishes our industry then. Get all the information, collect too much information. Here's another thing for you. Make sure the loan officer you're working with knows what they're doing. Just because somebody has done this for a long time, I've done this for 24 years, doesn't mean I'm great at what I do. And just because I've only done this for a year does not mean that I'm bad at what I do. You're gonna learn real fast by referrals, friends, family, real estate agents who trust people, or just have a conversation with the loan officer. Are they explaining everything on the first conversation? Are they telling you everything? Are they answering your questions? Are you asking questions? And a lot of times, you don't even know what questions to ask. But ultimately, all of this 
is why you could be pre-approved and on down the road, you later get declined. Ask anybody who was pre-approved and later declined. They're gonna tell you it's a pretty bad story, but to keep learning the particulars of what to pay attention to so that does not become your story, make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube page, you're sharing this on your page, especially if you're a real estate agent, man. Other agents need these messages and videos too, especially the newer ones who are trying to learn and pick up speed and do different things. And then of course, put your comments in there. And if you need a loan and you want a loan officer who knows what they're doing, I don't even know where to send you. But give me a call, I'll see what I can do. And until then, rock and roll, Billy Idol for life. Yeah, Kim Billy has something like that, right? And all of its great songs and things like that. And I'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you guys later.